Good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys today, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos today. I actually wasn't going to put this top hat on, but I looked over there and I saw it. I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, let's just put that on. I like it. <laughs> Show me spirit. Show me what's the energy surrounding my Virgos today. What is that? Yin. Wow, that's a beautiful card. That's an absolutely, absolute. it's giving me kind of whimsical by the book. A lot of you guys today, you, you could be doing something by the books. You could be tr considering not doing something by the books. And it's, this is almost like reminding you of your own beliefs, your own, this talks, I'm getting like kind of karmic justice, making sure that it's like doing something right. There's no worries. There's no, there's no tears. If you make, if you do something right from jump is what I'm getting in this energy. It says by the book. I feel like for some of you guys, this is doing something. This is you making a decision. I'm getting, I'll, I'll have September 2nd and I also have September 11th for some of you guys. All that glitters is not gold. That's exactly the energy that I was getting. Like somebody could really and truly be making a decision to do something right. There could be a temptation in this decision. As I see 222 on the clock, all that glitters is not gold. You could be born on September 16th, but I'm getting a strong, strong energy like something good. Like if you have, say you're in a positive relationship, but there is somebody else that comes in, somebody that's enticing. I'm getting kind of an enticing energy. And this doesn't have to be a person. This could be a situation. This could be an offer. This could be an opportunity. It's like what you have is good. Something is enticing. Something is tempting. That's kind of what I'm getting in this energy or like somebody trying to persuade you to go against your own beliefs and your own values. Yeah, I feel like, but I feel like you guys are going to be making the right, like a just decision. This is just, you know what, it's almost like I'm getting in this energy, like spirit is wanting me to remind you, to remind you, to stay course, stay the course. This is kind of like giving me like an energy of like staying the course. You know that there's things in life that's going to be tempting. You know that there's things in life that's going to be distracting. Because I'm getting an energy of like something trying to pull you into a different direction. And, but I feel like this, this yin yang, this is normally like a soul connection, a partnership, like something that you have a bond with. This is your yin to your yang. This is your left and your right rib. Like this is like you share a rib cage with someone you share this is like even like someone trying to come between because instant i just got like someone trying to because i'm also looking at this elephant with its cut with its little cubs it's like it's almost like someone trying to come between you and yours that's what this is really and truly kind of giving me in the overall energy like something trying something or someone a situation trying to come between what's you and yours reminding you that you're bigger better stronger than anything else like two people that as long as this is like a husband and a wife it doesn't matter like there's other people that could be family members there could be friends there could be people trying to interfere with the bond that you have and i'm getting like something that starts small and it could be it could become very very massive 
like even if you start dangling like this is like work this is like being on a job and starting a little like you're flirting with someone but it's not a big deal i'm just saying like you know it's like that's the energy that i'm getting like you may start off small flirting with someone but you know it's just passing the time it's just passing by but then it gets it grows because there could be someone here like catching kind of feelings and like someone here like coming on a tad bit stronger than what you were than what you wanted like for someone here it's like there's an energy here of like i was just kind of like passing the time i was just kind of like blowing the, like blowing the shit or something like that like i was just like you know it's a good time but i mean nothing by it but on the other side of that there is someone here like they they want what they want they don't respect your boundaries they don't respect what you're trying to have for yourself or what you have they have no respect for the life that you have built for yourself and for some of you guys, it's like spirit is trying to remind you. It's like, be careful of the doors that you open. Be careful of the cracks, in the, like the cracks that you leave open. Be careful of what you say to other people, because there's an energy here of like other people using your words. You, yeah, there's an energy here of like other people kind of using your words against you. There is an energy here because I feel like there's a like this overall energy is like not losing. You know, I don't want to say not giving people something to talk about. People are always going to talk. But this is like not giving someone ammunition. Like not giving someone ammunition to use against you. And I feel like it's something, like you guys could be just doing something. Like this is like cutting a corner. Cutting a corner when you really and truly don't have to. This is like entertaining something that you really and truly don't want to entertain. But you don't want to hurt someone's feelings. Like it's something, it's really and truly not a massive energy. It's not a massive energy yet, but it can actually turn into something massive. I feel like there's an energy here of like your spirit guides wanting you guys to remember what you have. Because for somebody here, whatever this little minute thing is, it could cost you. It could truly, truly cost you. I'm definitely getting like a family dynamic. I'm definitely getting a family dynamic. Dynamic. I'm definitely getting like you and a partner could truly have a good thing. You know, nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect, but you and a partner could truly have a good thing, whatever this partner is to you. You could truly have a good thing. And it's like, don't go, it's 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 knocking something off course for something that is not even worth it. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting in that energy, like knocking something off course for something that's not even worth it. This is like cutting a corner that's gonna cost you in the long run. Like, you could, you could have a business and... Like, instead of making a smaller profit, this is like buying stolen products. Like, you know, this is like buying stolen products and selling that so you can make a bigger profit. You could afford to do it the right way, but you chose to do it the wrong way, but it could cost you in the long run. And I'm just kind of throwing out thoughts, okay? I'm just kind of throwing out what I'm getting. Like, as it comes to me, I'm just kind of throwing it out, but that's kind of the energy of what I'm getting. But the, the biggest the biggest thing about this is that my Virgo, your this is going against your beliefs. This is going against your better judgment. Whatever this is, it is definitely going against your righteous. I don't know why I was gonna say your righteous ass. <laughs> like, like, like it's going against you know right from wrong. Whatever this is, you know there's a little nugget of wrong. There's a little there's a little nuisance in it. There's a little nuisance in it. You absolutely know this. Show me. Find a balance. Libra energy. Like you can do this, but it's like finding a balance. Trying to make things work without jeopardizing self. This is like you guys really and truly trying to make some things work without jeopardizing self i'm getting like a spouse that's having to work extra hours having to work like long hours and but there's one spouse that's at home with the kids or just at home and like somebody's not giving the other person enough time like and this is like you guys being reminded to find a balance in this libra energy this could definitely be a marriage um somebody i'm getting an energy like somebody being lonely somebody being stuck at home somebody wanting their partner 
And I feel like that's when thoughts start rambling in somebody's head. Like for somebody here, it's like this is it's almost like I see somebody showing up to your job to make sure that's where you're at. Whether this be you or somebody in your energy, because it's like it's it's almost like spirit is spirit is reminding someone here to make time for your family, make time for your marriage, make time for your relationships. Yeah. Keep your heart open. Again, strong Libra energy. There's a lot of Libra energy. There's a lot of justice. There's a lot of karma here. This is like keeping your hands clean. That's what this is all, all of this energy is about. Keeping your hands clean. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. I'm sorry. We also have the uh, Be Humble, strong Leo energy. Don't get mad because somebody wants your attention. Don't get mad if somebody calls you out. There is somebody here, there's a guilty conscience. Somebody here, you're going to be called out on something. There's a guilty conscience. You know that you, even if it's not on a grand scale, it's like you know that you've done something. And it's like, this is like ready to bite somebody's head off, but it's a guilty conscience. Strong Leo energy. You could definitely have Leo in your chart. Taurus energy, detoxify. Clear out whatever does not need to be in your life. Whatever doesn't need... Because I'm definitely getting like for somebody here, this is like keeping your hands clean. There's something like your spirit guides are calling you guys strong towards energy, detoxifying. Like there's something that needs to be removed. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to be on a grand scale, but it can get to that point. Like it, it doesn't like it's getting like, of course, like I said, keeping your hands clean. But I'm getting an energy of dabbling, dabbling in a little something. Like, this is almost like somebody here, like, dabbling in prescription medicine. And I was like, okay, I'm just dabbling. Like, this is like, you know how, like, I always hear that with doctors and lawyers and all that when they're in college. And to get through, like, you know, LSATs and to get through, like, you know, their exams and all that, they'll take, like, Adderall or something like that. And this is, like, giving me an energy, something like that, where people are, like, just kind of dabbling in something. And it's not a big deal to, like, not thinking it's a big deal. But then it's like... You know, like, like, you know, you guys know, I in my field, I deal with a lot of drugs and alcohol. And it's like, they start with, you start with something small. They start with Adderall. They start with, I always tell that to people, like, I always find like when, and I am not a medical profession, any of the sort, but I always find I personally, me personally, I've always seen it because even when I was working, when I first got out of college, I worked for the public defender's office. And I worked in the juvenile department and I used to see like those kids that would have their parents would put them on that Adderall, on that medicine. And then now that I went to a private firm, I see now that these kids, those same kids that we saw in the public defender's office, now they're adults that have moved on to other stuff, other substances. It'll be like they start, they start, they go from that, they go to marijuana, then they go on to something else and they're getting young. It's young. They're all young, but that's kind of what I'm getting in this energy. Like somebody dabbling in something minute, but it can actually, you know, it can actually become something more. Even if it's like an office flirtatious, office, like I'm getting almost like an office romance. Like somebody is like, there's an energy here of like something so minute, like it's just fun and flirty. And it could actually turn into like a fatal attraction. Like what that movie is, Obsession with Beyonce and Ildris Elba, like it can turn into something totally different because somebody is a crackerjack. And somebody got the wrong idea. Somebody took things too far. That's kind of what I'm getting in this energy. Yeah. And I just feel like, I'm not going to say like, you know, it could be you, it could be somebody in your energy. But it's like, I'm not going to say like my Virgo is an innocent bystander, but it's not something, it's not something on a grand scale. Like right now, present moment, it feels like for somebody here, yes, it could be on a grand scale. You could have already stepped Stepped over the line all the way to left field. Um, but I'm getting an energy of like start. It's like just keeping your hands clean. Yeah, just keeping your hands clean. We have Ace of Cups, New Love, Six of Swords. Like I feel like this talks about feelings and emotions. Six of Swords, moving on to calmer waters. Like I love 
I love you. I love where I'm at. I love my life. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like, you guys, like, there is, there is new love, new emotions. Like, there's something new here that has stirred your interest. There's something new here that has stirred your interest after a long journey with this Six of Swords. After a long journey for someone here, like, you just, like, things are just really and truly with that Ace of Cups. You're, you're finally happy. You're finally happy. Things are just really and truly getting good after a very, very long journey. You just started something new for somebody here. You could have really and truly just kind of started a new job. Things are doing well. And it's like, I don't want to mess this up at all. Like, that's what I'm getting in that energy. Like, not wanting to mess that up at all. Show me. Like, we're just, like, it's like, I'm just getting my family back. I'm just getting home. Like, yeah, I don't want to... Things are just starting to calm down. They're just starting to trust me again. Like, you know, I'm just starting to get to pull the rug from like, you know, the like, the like, I'm just starting to be on solid ground in a situation, in a relationship, in a job. So it's like, I don't want to shake things up, not wanting to shake things up, um, needing to find some balance. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, like. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, that is your energy all day. Very abundant, good looking. Like, I feel like things are just starting to become so much more positive. Just starting to become so much more positive. The lovers, Gemini energy talks about a choice. You're choosing to do the right thing. You're choosing to do the right thing. This is a choice, like choosing to follow your heart. A lot of you guys, you're making a choice to follow your heart. What's beneficial? This journey has been long. This is you guys like going towards what's beneficial, keeping your hands clean and doing things by the book. You know what I'm getting? You know what I'm getting for someone here? And it's this is kind of like if you were kind of like a player or something like that, or let's say like you've had a lot of life experiences that weren't so well, the, the life experiences, they weren't so good and you just kind of reacted there's a reaction to your life experiences like the the negative your the negative actions towards you poured out a negative reaction or outcome from you so some of you guys yes you could have played the field some of you guys yes you could have been a little bold and nasty and just not doing things the way that you I'm hearing like the way that you were raised, the way that you were brought up, but not doing things the way that you really and truly wanted to do. Like this is reacting to society, reacting to the world, reacting to the hand that the hand that you were dealt, the cards that you were dealt, like dealing with that. I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's kind of the posture, like, you know, but now, now you've already served your karmic, like you've already served that karmic debt you've already you've already given you've already given your time and your energy, your sweat and your blood to it. And see, now it's like, okay, I have come a long way. There's been a long journey. I want something calmer. I want something better. I want where I want where the grass is greener. I don't want the storms, the dust, and the dirt. Like, this is like pulling yourself out of the grave for some of you guys. That's what I'm getting in this energy. Like, pulling yourself out of the grave for some of you guys. You're, only, you're following your heart. You're going towards, there's a newness here. There's new love, there's new emotions, there's new appreciation. Like there's some there's something new here. And it's like, okay, that's where I'm going. There's a potential of it. And you absolutely see the potential of it. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you even if you're on this journey independently, like you have you have met this is there's a massive transformation in your life. There's a massive transformation within yourself. And it's like, don't make me. It's like not wanting to be that person that you used to be. And I feel like that's why this card by the book is like reminding someone here of the journey that you have just traveled of where you, for some of you guys, you could have a friend coming in and they could still be living that life. They could still be living that life, but you're not living that life anymore. You've outgrown that life and the struggle has been real. It has been a tough, tough journey to get you to where you are. And like, this is like you guys making a choice 
No, I'm going this way. No, I'm good. You do what you do. I'm not knocking your hustle. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of the energy. I'm not knocking your hustle, but I'm not. Do I'm, I'm, I have somewhere else to go. I have something else to do. I'm not that person that I used to be, nor is that the life that I want for myself. I want something more fulfilling. I want something that's more loving and nurturing. Something that there's like a, something that's going to keep you warm. You know, there's something that's like, there's some, I'm getting like some hugs and some kisses. Like, it's like, this is not even about a person hugging and kissing you. This is about the universe. This is about God. This is about Allah. It's like, like wanting that, wanting that, staying in good graces. It's like staying in the good graces of the divine itself. Like, that's really and truly kind of what I'm getting in this energy. As long as I stay in the good graces of the divine, and as long as I stay in the good graces of my partner and my family and myself, like staying in the good graces of self. Like that's a, that's a real, real big energy. That's a real big energy. Yeah. I do love that energy for you guys. I do love that energy. Bottom of the deck, eight of swords. Definitely, definitely thinking. Definitely, definitely. There's moments of, there's moments of thinking, contemplating. For someone here, this is like, you've, you've paid some type of karmic debt. Somebody here, you've paid some type of karmic debt. And there could be something right now, present moment, that makes you, that's kind of bringing that to the surface. Like you could have paid some type of karmic debt. You could have left behind an old life, an old way. And it's like something coming back in and it's opening up an old wound. This is like somebody from your past coming in, reminding you of the days that you used to party like a rock star, you used to do drugs or you used to do this or you used to do that. And it's like, okay, but I've transformed and now you're on a spiritual path, you know? And it's like, you transform from that. And it's like, respect the life that I'm building for myself. Respect where I am. I am no longer there. You do you, I do me. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Some real, real big energy. Yeah. Show me spirit. Yeah, surviving. Look at that hamster wheel, the daily hustle. You're in survival mode. Like, let me do me. Let me, let me hustle. I feel like right now, present moment is like, there's a hustling mechanism. Like you're focused on your money. You're focused on your pentacles. You're focused on what's abundant in your life. Like you're, you're truly, truly focused on that. Um, future projected days, weeks, and month, months. So you guys got, like, you have some abundance coming in. There is like, I feel like what Spirit is saying is, is kind of like you guys within days, within weeks, within months, there's going to be something as I see two, 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 two on the clock. There's going to be something that's going to resurface, like our surface, that's going to be a little challenging. That's going to be a little, I'm also getting like for some of you guys, it's almost like telling a white lie, but that you see, I told you like, it's like something's minute. You ain't gotta, it's just keep your hands clean, do things by the book. Then you have nothing to worry about. I feel like spirit is kind of telling someone this. And I'm, I feel like spirit is like kind of pounding this onto someone because as long as you keep your hands clean, as long as you do things by the book, then you have nothing to worry about because there is like a, there is like a feeling of, I, I don't want to revert back to the, my old ways. I don't want to revert back to my old life, but like some of you, it's like, there's an energy here of like walking a very fine, fine line, like walking a very, very fine line intoxicated with heels on. <laughs> like that's kind of in the energy as well yeah all right my loves if any of this resonates please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't if you understand what i was saying let me know as well <laughs> until next time i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day bye guys